Welcome to the official YouTube channel for the Colin Coward Podcast. Go on, hit the subscribe button. There you go, right down there. If you wanna be among the first to hear my weekly takes, NFL, college football, more, right there. All right, before we start on my rant on Jim Harbaugh, uh, if you want to grab your phone, download the Game Time app. Takes less than 90 seconds. If you want to go to a championship game, you download the app, Game Time app. Use the code Colin, the redeem code Colin, C O L I N, 20 bucks off your first purchase. Pretty good deal, right? Game Time's fast, easy, comedy, concerts, sporting events theater, and more. Game time has deals right up to the event, and in fact, an hour after the event starts. The Game Time app guarantees the best price. You'll find tickets, let's say, in the same section, same row, and it's the same price. Game Time will credit you 110% the difference. Download the Game Time app, create an account. The redeem code is Colin, C-O-L-I-N, for $20 off the first purchase. Terms apply again. Create an account, redeem code Colin, Download the Game Time app today. Last minute tickets, lowest prices guaranteed. Falcons did not hire Bill Belichick, who I thought, if he wanted personnel control, was one of the weaker candidates. I'm not interested in that. They hired Raheem Morris. So Raheem was a coach in Tampa, didn't work, was a great assistant uh, after Brandon Staley left for the Rams, became McVay's best friend on the staff, uh, and did very, very well with a really young defense. Uh, Morris is one of those guys like D- D'Amico Ryans uh, or Sean McVay, very impressive in person, kind of, you know, just a guy, eye contact, really smart uh, point of view. So Raheem interviews very well. I've been told that numerous occasions. Uh, probably I would have gone after maybe a Mike Vrabel. Uh, again, defensive coach. They don't have a quarterback. But I think this is what Belichick is falling into is that, and it's really funny that um, Bill doesn't really have any vulnerability. Like Bill's going to do what Bill wants to do. That's why he's got his kids on the staff and he hires coaches who are, he had a very weak staff, multiple fired guys in New England. So, um, you know, Bill wants more control than Arthur Blank and Rich McKay uh, are willing to give. And had Bill read the room, he would have known that Arthur Blank has never hired a big time head coach. He's always given it to up and coming coaches who don't feel like they have to own the room. Blank's a brilliant businessman. Rich McKay is excellent with operations and certainly knows talent. Terry Fontenot from the Saints is a well uh, uh, smart guy that's well thought of around the league. I mean, he's not, uh, you know, we, we don't look at him quite as a Les Snead maybe yet or a Mickey Loomis in New Orleans yet or a Howie Roseman or a Brett Veach, but he is well thought of. Um, but I think Belichick, um, the thing that worries you if you're Atlanta, he's a milestone guy. Is he really care about Atlanta? Never, never, never coached really. I mean, head coach in Cleveland, then in New England. He didn't know much about the NFC South. Um he has uh, drafted 15 quarterbacks, one star Brady, one starter Garoppolo, two to three capable backups and 10 misses. So I think Bill was going up against recent history in Atlanta where they're going to take a Dan Quinn. They're going to take a Raheem Morris. Uh, They're going to take a young up and coming assistant that's not going to need to dominate personnel. And I'll be honest with you, the Seahawks last two drafts have been much stronger when John Snyder was empowered by ownership and controlled the drafts. Heat in a vacuum in Seattle when Paul Allen died had a lot of power. It frustrated John Snyder, who went and sought the Detroit Lions job, got a raise, they brought him back to Seattle, and there were some assurances that he would have more control in the draft. I have it on two different sources who I trust implicitly, is that Pete would sometimes... um, have a very strong opinion, and it would sway the Seahawks drafts. And for years and years, I was told this for years by people in the league I respected, that Seahawks drafts were unpredictable. Now, Pete's were very good when he came out, uh, out of college, out of USC, at a two or three year run where they're excellent. But like most pro coaches, he's not sitting around watching college football all Saturday. He's looking at NFL stuff and NFL personnel and film. And I thought Seattle's drafts got much better in the last couple of years when John Snyder exerted more power. 
I think Belichick's last seven drafts have mostly been absolutely abysmal. Why? Once again, I have it sourced from multiple people that as as he started stacking rings and net worth and, and power, uh, he was more difficult for Brady to deal with. And he told mid-January, the draft department, the scouts, I got it from here. It's hard to find any hits in the last seven drafts on the offensive side. They've had two pro bowlers. One's a punter. So I don't think coach, I remember when Mike Holmgren was in Seattle years ago, great coach. He had a little bit too much power when he first started in Seattle. He struggled with a couple of early drafts. You're asking, drafting is hard enough for great GMs. Howie Roseman has had huge whiffs and how he's brilliant and completely dedicated. So the idea that Bill Belichick, any of these coaches want over 50% power. John Gruden, by the way, with the Raiders, had the final say with Mike Mayock. Uh, I, I, I know that because it's sourced. Go look at the Raiders' first-round picks. In later rounds, Gruden would let Mayock have more control. But in that first round, there's first, second round, John thought he was the television John Gruden and exerted too much power and control, and they had multiple major whiffs. Gruden, Pete Carroll, Bill Belichick, Mike Holmgren. Those are just four examples. The best way to do it is Les Snead and the Rams and Sean McVay, where McVay has absolute say, but they really work collaboratively. collaboratively. They really work together very, very well. Sean, if he does have the final say, is very respectful about it, but they're really committed to the process from beginning to end. And last year, they had a sensational draft uh, outside of Stetson Bennett, who had struggled, uh, I, I, I think, with some things personally, and uh, they're not sure if that's going to work. He was a fourth-round pick, but they nailed their second-round pick, two-thirds, multiple fifths. Uh, it was a great draft for them. Even picked up some guys late in the sixth and seventh round. DraftKings Sportsbook, an official sports betting partner of the NFL, is bringing you, yes, an offer that will help you win money in the NFL playoffs. New customers, bet five bucks. That's it, five bucks. That's it, $5 any game and get $200 instantly in bonus bets. Are you kidding me? I bet five, that's it. Download the DraftKings Sportsbook app now. It takes 90 seconds and put in Colin, C-O-L-I-N. Easy peasy. New customers, five bucks. That's all you have to bet. And get $200 instantly in bonus bets only on the DraftKings Sportsbook. The code is Colin, C-O-L-I-N. And the crown is yours. So... You know, Belichick has got to read the room. His drafting record is atrocious. And though Raheem Morris, I probably would have gone to the offensive side. They just had an offensive coach and it didn't work. So there is a history in this league. D'Amico Ryans is the latest. If you have a top defensive coach and a star quarterback and CJ Stroud certainly emerged, looks like a star top six, seven quarterback, um, you can hoist trophies. I don't think defensive coaches are as good with marginal quarterback talent. I don't think they're good when they have a disruption at quarterback, a backup like a Gardner Minshew or a Joe Flacco. Shane Steichen and Kevin Stefanski hit it out of the park. But if you have a Lamar Jackson or a Josh Allen or a C.J. Stroud or Brady in his prime or Big Ben in his prime, I'm okay with defensive coaches. So if they nail... If they draft the third or the fourth quarterback and nail it, Raheem Morris will be a fine coach. Uh, if they if they draft somebody and it doesn't hit and they're marginal, he'll probably struggle. It is a weak division. Um, but Belichick didn't get it. He didn't get the Chargers. Reportedly, Ben Johnson is a slam dunk in Washington. To me, those were the three best jobs. Carolina, nope, that's taken too by a young coach. So and and when you get older, Belichick. A year off is not an advantage. That That's not necessarily an advantage. Sean Payton was seen closer to his prime. Mike Vrabel seen as closer to his prime. Belichick is, and his draft record shows it. Allergic to offense, tone deaf offensively, not building great staffs. He, he is not only past his prime, uh, he's well past it. Just say that.